What a great job. I really thoroughly enjoyed this film and clearly a labor of love for you. You chose to produce it. Um, but, you know, you guys are, are clearly not maverick surfers when you started this. Was there ever a point where you went, what on earth am I thinking? Mm -hmm. When we got out there, yeah, immediately. The whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, never was. You no, know, I mean, when you're learning to surf and, and you're struggling to even get up on a small wave. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. a, a four foot wave, I think, has like uh, two tons of pressure. A left four foot wave, you know, one's broken. So, I mean, obviously it's water and it's not like a. a Car, but like it's it's the same idea in terms of like the it, the jolt, you know. Yeah, but a thirty foot wave. A thirty foot wave is a. And wait, wait, but then there's the thirty foot Mavericks wave, which is an entirely different thing in itself. Yeah, it's so big, cold, heavy you, water. You dark. had to learn to respect it right away and yeah. find ways to to be, please the wave. You know what I mean? Stay out of its way. Yeah, but um, never, you know, you were never one to you know shy away from a physical activity. Uh, but dude, you almost lost your life doing this movie. Yeah. What on earth, like, were you thinking after, like, uh, does this, something like that change your life? It did actually. You know, it, it, it did, and 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 actually, I have no regrets about. I I I just think I do really think that I'm lucky, and in fact, that that a lot of our story is about the difference between fear and panic. Yeah. And I had been having these discussions, especially right. with our second unit director, who kept saying, "You panic out there, you yeah. die." And suddenly, I'm under, and I'm like, "This is crazy. This is everything that I've been talking about, telling this kid." And all I wanted to do was scream, "Go!" Because it went on and on and on. I'm like, "I gotta breathe." And and yet, it was all about being zen. And, and if I hadn't done those scenes, I yeah. don't think I'd be here because it went, it just was an eternity and I kept going. Just remembering your own words underwater. Remembering my own words going, don't breathe, yeah. don't breathe, just don't breathe, don't. And the water was going in, the water was going in. Even though I wasn't breathing, the water kept forcing itself in. Wow. Why is this water going in? It just kept going in, but at the same time. What happens is the pressure, the water pressure, you basically forces, you basically go from the top of the water surface to you know 30 to 50 feet down within seconds. And then what it also does, you could take a deep breath if you want, but that thing is gonna push it out of you. So you know, if you ever let your air out, you You're sink done. and you you basically have a third, a fourth of the time that you are able to hold your breath, third Amazing. of the oxygen. And you're full of, and then of course, and then the water goes, and it actually goes into your lungs, yeah, yeah. and then you're in big trouble. And I'd lost my board as well, because I kept thinking, why am I not, I feel like I should be starting to come up now, and but I felt like I was just free floating and spinning yeah. and spinning, and then I, put my hands on here and I went, oh no, my board's gone. Gonzo. And I didn't know, where am I going? Am I going up, am I going down? Because I, I just wasn't, I didn't know where, where I was. It's black, it's when the wave, you know, the white water's white, but underneath you can't see it, you can't see the surface. Well, we're all yeah. glad that it all Yeah, man, dude, that yeah, you're um, here. Johnny, for you, you know, the movie's wow. very much about a mentor-father relationship, yeah. but you know, you're new to this business, what was it like to have this guy Life at your side? Life imitates art, you know, and, and I think that, um, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he, he was amazing to work with, man. It, it, I think I think that um, he's blushing. You know, more, Come on, get him to blush. I think I think, I think more watching him it, as opposed to like the the relationship with Jane and where it was very like verbal. I think on set is I absorbed the most from him by watching him and being ac across from him, and um, and really seeing that he's selfless and and it you have to have the other person be selfless and open in order for anything to work. And I think that um, watching him do that and our, our relationship, we were so open that, um, you know. And it's true, I mean, I gotta say, because Johnny has such a big, vivacious energy, and he's very pure in his spirit. And I, and I think, I, I, I'm like that as well, maybe not as much as I used to be, but when I came in, I was so bright-eyed and friends with yeah. everybody, and I had no ego, and he doesn't have an ego, he just wants to do a great job. So and I you saw, still don't, come on. I, I, okay, you well, don't. anyway, I, I didn't, I, I just, I saw a lot of me and him, and him and me. And, yeah, absolutely. And, and I think that that's very like the movie as well, you know, is when, it, it, is Frosty, what he sees in Jay, even though Jay's making him crazy, but he does go, this kid reminds me of I me. Mean, he had that thing, that just that that thing inside him, that that insanity, and yet yeah, that yeah. intelligence and that genius. Yeah, and the dark yeah. side that, that he turned into like a very powerful thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think I think I think I share that with my character and and um and, and with me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, terrific <laughs> job on this, gentlemen. Really good. And might I add, you both look fantastic in wetsuits. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you. Just man. Thank you. Always great yeah. talking. <laughs>